Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel for Angular and JavaScript interview question series. And today we are going to discuss about what is the difference between callback, promise, and async and await. So, by what you will learn if you will watch a complete uh, video, you will be able to answer, answer the question like uh, what is the difference between sync and async, and what is a callback, what is the alternative approach of callback what is a promise and what is the difference between callback promise and async and await keyword all these are very common interview questions and frequently asked in the interviews so you must be prepared for all these questions uh, now let's understand what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous so synchronous code statement get executed in the sequence as it's clear by name and asynchronous codes uh, text statement outside of the main program flow and allowing the code after the asynchronous call to be executed immediately without waiting. So let me take a very simple example. Uh, if you are having some internet issue and when you call to uh, customer care and uh, if uh, you explain your problem and if immediately they start working for your problem and your problem is getting resolved. So we can take this is a synchronous process because uh, in the sequence you explained uh, your problem and immediately they start to resolving it but uh, for example if they are not able to resolve it and uh, they assigned your problem to someone to different thread and after they uh, asked you to wait for some time and they started again taking some other people's problem and they assigns to multiple peoples, multiple threads. So we can take the, uh, this process as a asynchronous. So when we are code is running in the asynchronous mode, uh, means it is not in the sequence. So we, uh, it's running in the background. Someone else is doing uh, working on your problem. Some other thread is assigned to the, to your issue. So you need some notification once your task is done or fail, right? If, uh, if your internet uh, issue is assigned to someone, so you must get some uh, SMS or something to notify that your problem is resolved or uh, your problem uh, resolution is failed, right? So for that, uh, in the old days, we used to have callback. A callback is a function passed as an argument to another function. So for better understanding, let's see this in action. So Let's start. So I'm showing the demo, demo in the jsfiddle.net. So it is a very powerful online editor. So for the callback example, I created one text box and assigned the value tapan here. And I created one async function. And uh, here I declared one variable. And uh, for asynchronous code, I'm using uh, a JavaScript set timeout. Uh, so after three seconds, uh, I am assigning the value of A2, uh, my last name Dubey, and then I am assigning that value to this text box. But uh, by default, as JavaScript code is uh, run in the synchronous mode, so we can see that I am getting uh, undefined in the my text box. So now, how can we get the correct value for the text box? Yes, correct. We can use callback. So callback is uh, passing a function as a parameter. So first we need to create one function. So let's do this. So basically I created one callback function which accept a value for our text box and I removed a variable a because directly we are passing that value in our function and uh, inside uh, set timeout I am calling our function and as for callback we have to pass a function as a parameter so I created one parameter uh, we can give any name it's not uh, specific to same name we can give test also here and we can change this to test so we can we are passing this function as a parameter here and we are getting the value so now let's see if we are getting our uh, my last name now or not 
So let's click on one. So I initially I can see the pun and after three seconds I can see my last name. So my code is working fine with the callback. So uh, after the callback, uh, we got one alternative for callback uh, in the modern programming that's called promise. So it's uh, as it's clear by the name, uh, if you are making a promise with someone, so whether you will be able to complete it or you may fail to uh, fulfill your promise. So the definition is it allows us to associate handlers with an asynchronous action for either success or failure. So let's take an example of promise. So now let's comment this code and let me do same action with the promise. So here I'm creating one new promise object and uh, promise can be a resolve or it can be reject. So for uh, demo purpose, uh, I am adding a condition. If uh, the text box value is tapan, then I am resolving it or else, uh, or else I am rejecting our promise. So now we have created uh, our promise object, but uh, how can we use this? Yes, we need to take this promise object and then we have to add then and let's create one arrow function and now i can assign my text box value so let's copy this and assign it here and uh, also let's add some timeout for better visibility so let's uh, set timeout and and let's move this is all under the timeout Now let's see our changes. So initially I can see Tapan and after three seconds I am getting my last name as we were getting the with the callback. So when we work with promise, so promise either return a, a success or failure and we get the response we need to add dot then and then we were getting a, our success or failure response. Uh, with the async code and of await keyword, we can uh, refactor this. And the definition of async and await is uh, async responsibility is to make a function return a promise, and await respons responsibility is to make a function to wait for a promise. So if we are decorating our uh, promise response with await, so we don't need to add dot then. That makes our code more better. So let's see this in action. So previously we created this uh, promise object and after that we were getting a values with the dot then and then we were assigning the values. So as I mentioned uh, with async and await we can refactor this code. So let's comment this code. So let me comment this. and now so now let's create one function for async so uh, let's say maybe async uh, demo function equals to async and then 
I am creating a arrow function and now let's use our promise object so this is our promise object so what I am going what I'm I want is I want to assign the promise object value to my text box so first let's copy this and paste it here and then I want to tell my code to wait for response for my promise so I can say await and then I can assign this promise object and now let's call this uh, async function and now let's click on run so I can see initially tapan and now let's change to dubai so my code is working with async and await also without uh, as it was working with the promise when we added dot then so this looks more better because we don't need this then and again next state uh, arrow function uh, now last thing uh, which i want to share is uh, what if i am getting uh, any error for from my promise so how will we handle in my async and await so let's see this so uh, i added my con condition like if uh, uh, the text box value is the pen, then only I am going to resolve my promise for this demo purpose. So first let's change it to something else, maybe 111, tapan 111 and then I am expecting a reject for my promise and let's give some message also. Let's say reject uh, demo and now let's come here and here I can add one catch block and uh, now let's uh, alert for our error and that's all now let's click on run again so I can see that my, I'm getting a reject demo uh, alert and now if uh, let's change my text box response again with tapan so I can see initially it is tapan and after 3 seconds it's getting changed with the tube. that's all for this video I hope you will be able to answer the difference between sync and async uh, and uh, callback and promise and uh, what is the alternative approach for callback all these questions and uh, I, I would be very happy if you can give me some topics for what you want a video and I will def definitely try to create a video for the topics thank you for watching have a good day